Hello everyone. So today we are going to talk about TCS NQT. So NQT is nothing but National Qualified Test, and this test is conducted by TCS. And when you give this exam, you will be getting certain score, and depending upon those those scores, you can apply to the companies which are linked with the TCS. Okay. So we are going to talk about exams. What different types of exams are there? How many? What are the syllabus? And uh, what is the timing? What are the total number of marks which the conduct which the exam have? Okay. so basically if you want to give this exam so it is going to happen on 1st may and on 13th may and the last date for registration is 20th april so if you are not applied yet so you just go and register so that you can give this exam so now let us talk of different types of scores so there are four types of scores first is cognitive skills score then is psychometric test score then another is industry nqt score subject nqt score okay and out of this four this is the most important cognitive skills because if you want to give test for psychometric test or if you want to give or uh, industry nqt or if you want to give subject nqt so you need to have this cognitive skill so this is basically the prerequisite for all the different types of test which is mentioned here also okay so this is one of the most important now let us talk about the uh, test so there are different types of rules they are given first is the nqt cognitive skills is the prerequisite for all the test which i already told and second is the score is valid for the two years so if you are giving this exam uh, till two years basically the test will be the test score will be valid okay and third is it can be conducted at uh, online uh, through home and in physical center uh, at tcs i on authorized exam centers okay so this is basically that and who can apply ug pg diploma students can apply there and a student with a degree and a specialization can also apply and if you are a fresher for example if you have joined some companies if you have experience if you have experience less than 2 years so you can apply there as well okay so this is all about uh, the exam and who can apply now let us talk about brands so when you get nqt score okay so depending upon that score you can apply into different type of companies so that is tata uh, tcs which is tata consultancy services tata electronics titan Okay, facts, data patterns, and there are list of companies which you can apply. Okay, and you can see if you are applying for specific company, you need to go through the specific company's portal only. So now we are going to discuss the most important uh, part of this uh, video. So that is variants. How many different types of exams are there, and which exams you choose the best? So the there are you, you can categorize all the exam in three categories. First is NQT, second is industry NQT, third is subject NQT. Okay, in the NQT you have two exams. First is cognitive skills, and second is the psychometric test. Okay, so uh, let us talk about that. So in cognitive skill uh, test, so basically it it costs you six hundred rupees, and uh, basically in this what they will be testing is verbal, numerical, and reasoning ability. These three things will be tested in this exam. Okay, and talking about the syllabus, you can see we in numerical. ability we have arithmetic elementary statistics data interpretations and number systems all this will be covered in numerical ability which will be for 26 marks for verbal ability english grammar reading comprehension will be tested which comes for 24 marks and then reasoning ability in this identifying word numeric pattern problem solving figure factors and license decision making all this will be coming for 30 marks so total adds up to 80 marks and this will be are uh, conducted for a duration of 120 minutes which comes to 2 hours okay so that is the basic about this uh, cognitive skill test which will be going to happen so under nqt the second exam is psychometric test so for this exam also you need to give the cognitive skill exam okay so that is mandatory for this exam also and it will cost you 400 approximately 399 okay so that is what it going to cost you and talking about the syllabus so when you scroll down so you will be having this uh, syllabus so in this basically two things will be tested first is personality trait test and second is motivation test okay and this personality trait will be based on big five model okay so you can just go and google what is big five model you will come to know about the various details and second is a motivation test and that will be based on this motivation need theory okay so you can uh, google that as well okay so that is all about this uh, psychometric test and it, this will be for 30 minutes okay now in industry nqt you have four types of exams out of which only two are available and two are yet to come so you cannot find anything on this web pages 
but for this uh, first is industry it which is information technology and the second exam is banking and finance services okay so these exams are only available so let us talk about uh, information technology what it has to offer to us so basically this test will be of 399 rupees and uh, for this exam also cognitive skills code is required okay so you need to give that exam in order to give this exam okay and in this what they want to test is your understanding and awareness of the it industry so how much you know about the industries and what are the various trends that are going in this it industries and uh, various things like regulatory bodies competitive environment how the environment is working there like this details will be asked in this type of test and this will be conducted for 45 marks and duration comes to 60 minutes so this is the second test banking and finance services and uh, you can give that exam for 399 now let us talk about subject nqt what it has to offer to us so basically in this all of the four testers are available okay so let us talk about which all we need to work on so first is it programming second is basic computer skills in which your microsoft and excel will be tested and that will cost you 399 and then the fourth third is nq accountant so that is also for 399 and last is financial market and services so this is all about the exams which is they going to offer so let us talk about it programming so in this it programming so basically this uh, test is for 399 and for this test as well you need to give the cognitive skill test you need to have that score in order to give this exam okay now let us talk, uh, let us talk about what will be going to come for this exam so there are two things first is programming logic so that is comprised for 15 marks and 10 questions will be asked in this programming logic so what is, what is going to come pseudo code algorithm programming constructs basic sglc okay implementation using c and c++ java this information you should know and second is coding or uh, hands on coding so two questions will be asked which will be for 45 marks and uh, you should you can have any, uh, you can use any of the language for example c c++ java python and Perl. okay so this is basically the uh, all about it programming and this test will be for 60 marks and 60 minutes so this is the basic idea of tcs nqt and I, I I hope that you have got which exam suits you and the, what we Geeks for Geeks are doing. So from today, from tomorrow onwards, we'll be giving this exam. We'll be conducting basically live streams so that you people can get benefit from that. So one thing we need to do is you just go and subscribe to the channel so that you can come to know the latest update whenever we post something on the channel. Okay. Thank you guys.